hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, you may notice that Rene looks a little different this week. Well, unfortunately, Rene, uh, Rene has been pulled away from us, snatched away in our prime. Uh, but Matt has kindly stepped forward to run us through a one shot. Uh, I, I, we'll, we'll get to that shortly. Before we go around and say hello to all these wonderful players this week, um, let's take a look at our social links. We've got our do it, bleh, our Twitter. That's a cross between Discord and Twitter. It's a new thing we're trying. We're just going to fuse the two together, and um, you all can just try and consume it all in one place. No, check out our Discord. Check out our Twitter. They're both places you can interact with our community. Twitter, send me a DM, and I'll get you into a game. Um, we're currently uh, taking spots for next season, so let me know. And Discord, it's a very powerful Discord. Everyone is, uh, everyone in there is really helpful. So just go and check it out. YouTube, go and check, catch up on all the other shows we run and uh, all of the other shows of the Tapestry uh, there. Also, check out those things from our sponsors, including the Deck of Many. The Deck of Many, uh, they create uh, third-party content for 5e, uh, like the Humblewood campaign, Cute Animals in D&D 5e. Yes, please. Uh, you can find it there on that link. Also, Mage Hand Press also create third-party content for D&D 5e. Uh, they create the Dark Matter system, which you can see tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, where Analyst runs Argo 37, the timey-wimey, mind-bending, crazy show that it is that leaves our brains melting out of our ears. Um, I'm gonna... I'll get you a tweet to retweet as soon as I've written it. I'm gonna go write a tweet now and say, Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hey, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Matt. Uh been playing on tapestry here the last several weeks loving it it has been a uh, just so much fun and um uh, i'm i'm looking forward to playing y'all through this one shot and weave in a play set that um i wrote called boy bands uh that is boi because anyone can be a boy uh this is gonna get buck wild, friends. Um, Y'all can find me on Twitter at Matt Hoadley. You can find some podcasts I do, uh, but more importantly, in an immediate sense, you can find me on Twitch at Jam Game Streams. We're gonna be doing a stream almost immediately after this one over there. Uh, Jordan Sanders is gonna be DMing uh, another run through D and D Five E. Um, so let's go around here and introduce our two players. We've got up next, Jordan. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. Hi, I'm Jordan, um, AKA the Lady Dame on most of my social media stuff. Um, and I'm really excited to get to finally play Weave. <laughs> um, uh, I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, well, Mondays and Fridays on my own channel. And mostly you can just find me hanging out in various discords, <laughs> yelling about Halo. Awesome. We are going to introduce characters here in a second. So next up, Val. Hi. Hi, I'm Val. I am the Nerdy Niffler on the Twitters, and I'm terrible at intros and outros. Uh, you can find me uh, on Variant Rolls on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, because schedule. <laughs> yeah, I'm just out. I'm really excited to play the Weave system as well. I've been excited wanting to play this since it since i found out it was like tarot cards i was like yes need all right so um thank you all for coming along with us this is going to be a great fun um like i said we're going to introduce our characters here in one second but our adventure today starts with a shot of the open ocean waves just kind of crashing some seagulls in the distance and then the camera dives beneath the waves. There's a stream of bubbles over the lens and then some, just the, the train of the bottom of the seas, you know, those undersea mountains and rocks and fish swimming by. There's coral, there's seaweed everywhere, a little humpback whale pod off in the distance. And the camera goes up and over a ridge and down below it is the ruins of an ancient city. There's lights, there's just like fireworks shooting out into the water somehow and around it is this massive bubble of energy doesn't seem to really be coming from anywhere but it is holding back the ocean and as the camera keeps going you can see just all of these people and all these tents kind of tucked away into the buildings it looks for all the world like like any sort of just massive concert festival except it's happening at the bottom of the atlantic and our camera like dives through the bubble and into this space and a voice 
comes out over the over the uh, video that says, "Welcome to Atlantis." Now, as you all well know, once a year for one month, a magical barrier pops up that keeps the ocean out, keeps the oxygen flowing, and keeps the fun jamming. I, of course, am William West, the coolest person on Earth for 12 years running, and I'm going to be your host for the 42nd Bandstand Battle of the Bands. And the image cuts to a impeccably tailored man on a stage, people all around losing their minds, screaming and cheering, and he just holds his microphone aloft and says, all right, folks, before we get to our competitors for the tonight... We want to welcome up some very, very special people. Ladies and gentlemen, they're here in their gigantic custom robots, the giant robos. And our camera pulls back a little bit, and y'all are in a green room. The three of you are in a green room. On the screen, you see four giant uh, feline-shaped robots prowl up onto stage and transform into humanoid shapes that pull out equally giant instruments and start to rock. And y'all can feel it vibrating all the way down here. Um, let's start again with Lux. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, I had this brief of a uh, band and immediately went anime. So, and the Lux is just Noctis from Final Fantasy XV, but like flipped. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. I was like, Noctis, Lux. So Lux has this kind of like short, uh, bright white hair, and he's dressed in this kind of like, like nice looking like tank top and like shorts. And Trey's got like a white leather jet. Everything is just like shiny and bright. And it's like those sequin things that glitter and that have that kind of rainbow effect. And he's like smiling and like scrambling along. As soon as the feline cats come on, he's like, I'm so excited for this. And he's just so happy, a happy child. And uh, Amber, can you describe who you're playing? So I'm Amber Rowan, and uh, she's, think like the description of Ebony to Dim Darkness Dementia Raven Way from My Immortal, and that's pretty much what you get with Amber. She's a little, uh, she's mostly, you know, at this point in the green room, she's kind of sitting back and sort of just strumming her lute to herself and being super quiet at this moment but that's uh that's that's amber i love this already and scrat i don't know how to pronounce your name so i'm gonna let you tell us all and describe who you are all right mate i'm credit to v all right you might already know me I created that battle rap a couple of years back, yo. Like, the one about Brexit and, like, how everyone's just trying to exit. And, like, they're really just, like, flexing it. And I'm not here for it. So, like, uh, stick around because we're not here to clown, all right? We've found that this is where we're sticking around for all of the great new sounds. I Freestyle love it. rap, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is very good. Um, what does credit to V look like? Oh, credit is uh, credit is in. Uh, oh boy, you might recognize this. You might recognize this. Uh, credit is wearing uh, a set of um, bright purple silk uh, jogging bottoms with like the poppers all the way up the legs with the white and gold stripe. Um, they're tucked into his socks. Um, with a pair of uh, gold trainers. Uh, white hoodie, pure white. Uh, with something written on it, but it's written in graffiti, so you can't really make it out. And of course, where would he be? Out. Out. He really does have a prop for everything, doesn't he? Baseball cap. <laughs> Way back, though. All right. And, um... We, we have some clearly some disparate musical styles happening. 
but somehow y'all have managed to pull this together and become a popular enough boy band to make it to the biggest show. This is the big show. This is the bandstand battle of the bands. What's y'all's band name? We're fusion, aren't we? Just Very fusion. much so. We're fusion, but with a small F and a big U. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very, very good. Okay. That's delightful and I love it. All right. Um, so y'all are just chilling in your green room right now. Uh, y'all did have fusion. your own green room. Uh, just for y'all, just for fusion. Um, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Oh, I've got one in somewhere. I'm just, I'm working out my tunes and like, I'm talking, I'm strumming fur. That's the name of my lute. Just uh, hoping that, like, this is so stressful. There's other bands here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done this kind of competition thing. I'm just used to being good at this, you know, and people like me and stuff. And it's just, ugh. This is stressful. All right. I, of course, am warming up my voice box. (laughs) I know this person. I've met this person. I'm having flashbacks. I went to a drama uni. There were like three of these dudes. (laughs) I love this so much. I was not prepared. I really... <laughs> I made this up when we went live. Okay, this is where we are now. It, this is delightful. This is beautiful. This is so great. <laughs> I've got to keep so my vocal are... cords warm and I. You know, you do what you have to do, credit. Yeah. You're the face of this group. I'm just. <laughs> we got to put out magic today, is all I'm saying. As you say this, uh, Lux is just warming up like a little violin, just like getting it all strung up and ready. And it's a small violin because I've decided he plays a tiny violin for some reason. This seems perfect. This this seems exactly on brand for fusion. So y'all are in your green room. Y'all are, y'all are just warming up. Y'all are practicing. Uh, the door opens, the door swings open, and a uh, a man walks in. This this man, well, you would all swear that you're looking at a Freddie Mercury cosplayer, or maybe an utterly devoted fan. And he just rolls in, just looks around, just goes, Fusion, right? Yeah, that's us. Oh, wonderful. I love y'all's sound. Mm, that's sweet. Now, what can we do for you? Well, he, he just closed the door behind. Just goes, now, this is embarrassing. I don't normally do this. Um, I am the god of rock. Now, once upon a time, people called me Apollo, Balor, Bane, Freddie Mercury. It's been all sorts of things, but I am, of course, the divine presence of rock and roll. And um, I have a, I have a, I have a favor to ask. Huh? Huh? I, mean, I know I've, I get this a lot. Like I've seen some weird stuff, so it's not totally out of the realm of possibility. But I mean, okay, go on. I mean, you are in a. Uh, a green room at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean under a magic bubble. So, you know. I mean, and my fair, loot right? talks to me too, so it's fine. Oh, you're one of the ghosty types. That's lovely. Mm. He looks right at your loot and just goes, hello, friend. This is fur. It's very nice to meet you. 
So we have a bit of a problem. This this is actually, this is good. If you're already familiar with Ghost, this is great. Um, turns out the people who built this place aren't entirely gone. They're a bit dead. Just a little bit dead. They're not really gone. Okay. And it turns out that after a couple of years of us putting on incredibly successful rock shows, if I'm being totally honest, uh, here in their city, they're a bit annoyed. The, the people who built this are annoyed? Well, they're ghosts, yes. Right, yeah, sure. No, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. No oh, good. And I'd just like you to go and uh, see about that. Do we think they're going to, like, do something? Well, hopefully not. But we did have to evacuate one of the East Wings. Because the bubble kind of collapsed in a little bit. Got fixed. We only lost some tents, but, you know, still, good tents. Will there be compensation? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Lux. Of course there will be. I will personally bless each of your instruments. I know it's a huge honor. I know. His might be a little difficult. Uh, I haven't blessed vocal cords before, but we'll give it a shot. Credit could be even better than he is. I mean, if you want, mate, you can just give me a magic bag. That's the usual light deal. <laughs> well, I do right. know a guy. We'll see what we can do for you, Credit. Know a guy. <laughs> the music industry, everyone knows a guy, don't they? Every, everyone's it's it's how we go by, you know? It's just all connections and and listen. If that favor's not good enough, don't know why it wouldn't be, but if that's not good enough, you will have the god of rock owing you a favor. And that's not nothing. I don't know. I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, Lux is going to kind of just lean over to Amber. It's like, I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, should we should we listen to Freddie Mercury? I think we should always listen to Freddie, if I'm going to be honest. We graciously <sighs> accept. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Now. Hang on, who's Freddie Mercury? I'm Don't sorry, worry so about it. I'm, I'm You just see, like, this, like, you know what? Anime eyes go, boom. <laughs> that just <laughs> happens. And it just kind of like. What did you say? <laughs> we'll talk about it later. It's fine. So, here's here's kind of the deal. Um, so the giant robos are doing their set to open the show. They're not competing. They're actually our guest judges this year. Uh, it's delightful. That's a secret. Can't tell anyone yet. We're not going to tell you until the end of the set. The crowd is going to go wild. Yeah, no kidding. Then there are five bands before y'all. Uh, hold on one second. I have a list. I have a list of the bands. First up, we're going to have the Jet Set Cheerettes. <laughs> Those posers. We're going to have Crimson Tears. A favorite of mine, if I have to admit. One of them does play Hercules, and I love it. He's a gem. Uh, we're going to have uh, XO. Their 
phenomenal k-pop group if you haven't caught their singles you need to look them up they put on quite a show uh we're gonna have ELE and then of course Cat and the Couture you have until Cat and the Couture are done to solve this problem because then it'll be your turn to go on and we can't miss our set not for anything no no you gotta win the battle of bands right the whole reason we're here so get out there solve our ghost problem and uh then come and win the battle of the bands and with the god of rock on your side can't lose i like it thanks god you are thanks, welcome Freddy. so wait are you like actually freddie mercury or you're like just like the essence of freddie mercury and a god thing sorry i was like come on amber he already told us he, he's called apollo like the smith right. he just I like you were paying attention credit honestly <laughs> he just gives you a wink and just says come on could anyone ever be freddie more than freddie could have been and he rolls out of the room. But, but, didn't answer the question because if Freddie Mercury, if he isn't Freddie Mercury, never mind. Credit! Yeah, what? Shall we go on an adventure? Um, hang on a minute. I've got a coffee cup here. So... All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm glad you're living your best life. Wow. Where are we? What do we know about like the people who built this place? Do we know anything? Ooh, that sounds like a good time <laughs> to start doing some rolls. Yay! Okay. Uh, Great. For anyone who's watched the tapestry before, y'all know kind of how this works. Um, in the weave system, there we use a D6 dice. It's customized. One side has a strike. One side has a weave. The other four sides have our four suits, the brooks, scales, stones, and flames. Uh, y'all should each have a number representing kind of y'all's skill level with those suits. Did y'all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Cool. Delightful. If not, we can help you find it. Um, what we're going to do using roll 20, we have a little chart uh, that has the explanation. I'm going to toss that into our Zoom chat real fast to make sure y'all have that as well. And... <laughs> oh yeah uh so if you want to try to figure out what you know about the ruined city of atlantis uh make me a flames challenge anyone can do this it's going to be a flames core challenge so you'll just roll your three basic dice that everyone gets and then if you are a flames core char character you can add one more to that awesome um out of curiosity, if my background also has flames in it, is that another dice or that's just a plus one to it? Uh, that's not part of the core challenge. That's part of the a deeper challenge later on. I understand. Great. All right. This is beautiful. I've just created my character purely based off of things from my childhood. And the last one, the assets, uh, the uh -huh. last asset in the sheet I actually have in real life. <laughs> to the letter. <laughs> Going down to assets. <laughs> I have All right. so many questions. <laughs> so this is this is great, Amber. Um, yes. You got oh, I did three really well. successes. Yeah, I did. Um, you know a I lot know. about this. Normally, this would be an epic success, and you can kind of narrate how this goes. Um, so let me give you a little bit of information. Okay. The Lost City of Atlantis is kind of a sprawling city. Um, it's built more on like ancient scale, so it's not like we're going to have you run across all of Manhattan today. Um, but most of it is ruins. There's about 12 buildings that are still functional, and only about six of those are really open to the public. You know, because you have clearly studied this, it's an ancient thing, kind of spooky, kind of magic. That seems up your vibe, right? That, that seems very amber. Um, yep. So you've studied this, you know one of the buildings. It's it's a 
big round almost almost like the pantheon but scaled up a couple times uh, yeah. and everyone calls it the mausoleum and that seems like a pretty good place to start looking if you're looking for ghosts awesome uh, so I tell my dear friends, Credit and Lex, my band members, my team, you know, I think if we're going to find out anything, if we're going to try and convince these ghosts to kind of leave this alone, we should check out the mausoleum. That's probably where they're going to be or where we're going to get some answers. All right. If that's where you want to head, you certainly can. Um <laughs> you know more or less how to get there and y'all have full backstage passes and access and everything. So uh, it's just going to be a little bit of a walk. What are, uh, are any of y'all doing anything on our little stroll over? Can we see any of the other bands? Oh, that's a good question. Let me see here. I wonder if it's actually going to let me do that. It did. All right. One, two, three. Uh, okay. So y'all are walking through the backstage area. You can still hear the massive, massive thundering of giant Robo's instruments. It seems like their bass player has like shouldered his way to the front of the stage and is just like trying to get the walls to collapse. It is some strong bass line going down. Um, y'all are walking along and you see, you see what for all the world looks like the cast of 300 come walking out of a dressing room. Uh, they're wearing slightly more than the Spartans. Picture some of the other soldiers in that movie, like the old Greek breastplates, all that. They're all carrying helmets that have some weird designs on them. And uh, any of y'all that want to can give me just a real quick flames check to see if y'all know exactly who this is. Uh, they're pretty popular, so this is this is not hard. Uh, in Did fact, we... I don't even need y'all to roll. I don't need y'all to roll. There's only six of y'all in this thing. You know who this is. This is Crimson Tears. They are named after the pips of a pomegranate and have decided to become entirely greek myths one of them is hercules one of them is uh oh my goodness why did i just blank on this uh perseus one of them is jason one of them is persephone for some reason which is weird because she was a goddess but she's there uh there's not a lot of like well done heroic female characters so she was just like bump that i'm gonna be a cool one um and uh, there's also like an Achilles. There's just a bunch of them. They kind of rotate through, but Hercules, Perseus, and Persephone are the core trio of this group. And they're they're just walking out of their their green room, kind of right in y'all's path between uh, here and where you're going. Uh, can I walk up to Hercules, Persephone, and I blanked on the last one. Uh, Hercules, Persephone, and Perseus are Perseus. kind of the core. Yes. Go. Walk up to them. Hi. <laughs> uh, they all turn to look at you, and the two uh, Hercules and Perseus just kind of like nod, and Persephone like pushes them apart and just goes, Hello. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. I'm I'm Lux. This is uh, Fusion, my band. That's Credit. That's Amber. Uh, we want. I just wanted to wish you good luck before you went on stage. Oh my goodness! Thank you. I've heard y'all have an amazing sound. We have. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love your aesthetic. It's it's so. Punchy. I love some your, of the. I, uh, I love your adverts. You know the yogurt some ones. Of the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, from from out of nowhere, both Hercules and Perseus pull out uh, little cups of uh, Faye Greek yogurt and just go, oh, yes, it's been quite lucrative. <laughs> Persephone just like hand on face and shoves them back again. Just like, yes, we're we, we do enjoy. We do enjoy our act very much. It's it's been a lot of fun. Um, thank you for wishing us good luck. I'd wish you the same, but we're going to crush you. Mm. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt you're going to be amazing. I just want to wish you good luck. And I hold out my hand. She grabs it and both of her and just goes, thank you. You'll need it. I'm going to crush her hand and like, look, like guys, like we will destroy you. Render your body from soul and your lame ass band will be crushed. Thanks, bye. I'm so glad. Have fun with your instruments. And I'm going to skip back over to the others. She looks legitimately <laughs> shocked by this turn of events. Uh, I don't think she was expecting a uh, like a new band to be this assertive, and I think she's a little bit pressed, a little bit, a little bit pressed. Like, okay, okay. Lux's description was: "Looks like a cinnamon bun could kill you." <laughs> <laughs> That's delightful. I love it. <laughs> uh, they kind of just like clear the hall, and let y'all pass through they take go to either side and down the end of the line is Percy and Hercules and they both just like kind of salute a little bit like yeah good job good job salute with my little thing that plays the violin because I know how things work I don't like them I don't like them at all I think <laughs> they have high expectations of themselves that we will destroy high expectations and i hope they do well so y'all yeah. y'all exit the main complex there's there's some people milling out but y'all are in like the backstage part of the whole ruins area uh y'all can pretty clearly see the mausoleum off in the distance uh, it's uh it's a pretty quick shot y'all can take in the sights there's a glowing magic bubble over your head holding back all of the ocean and uh strolling along strolling along i need all of y'all though to give me a uh give me a gales check real fast here this is this is not a core challenge this is going to be a gales challenge of two uh so if you have any bonuses from your abilities or assets anything that bumps up gales you can use that here to add an extra die uh quick question yes with the list of things, uh, the strikes, broke scales, were we supposed to get a number that went with that? Um, or the, I'm sorry, one more time. Sorry, the the strikes, broke scales, stones, flames, and weaves. Do we have yes. a number that went with our character? Um, so uh, that's in the uh, first part where you've got the backgrounds at the bottom it says like gales or brooks or gales gales it gives you a choice of the two so you can pick which one you have an advantage in oh yes. okay then i chose brooks okay cool 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 all right so uh just roll me then just 3d6 unless you have something that adds an extra one uh, make sure to include The exclamation point at the end, just like I demonstrated in chat, that'll let it explode. Um, Val, roll me one more d6 there for me. As you rolled that six, which is a weave, and that means it explodes and you can roll it again. All right. That's very good. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> Ooh, hey, uh, Scrat, you, uh, you nailed this Gales challenge. Yeah, a little bit. Apparently this character can roll Gales. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Amber, can you roll me one more d6 as well, please? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Okay, um, so we're gonna start with Amber. Amber, you got one success on this, so you're not gonna really see anything. Uh, it's, it's a great night. You're, you're in a city you have wanted to explore and you have a pass to just wander around and look at whatever you want to. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is just like, dream come true kind of territory it's really cool um this val you see something a little weird uh up on up on uh a pillar next to you 
there's there are of course some surveillance cameras around up on tripods normally they're up on like their own little portable things because they have to strip this down in a month uh but this is like attached to a pillar and it's a much smaller camera just it looks all the world for like just a spy cam and credit you notice this too we're gonna get to everything you see though here in a minute um and yeah it's just up there it's very out of place it's very strange um credit you see the spy cam and you see another spy cam on the other side of the little plaza you're in and looking around you notice there's no one here credit there's usually like a security guard patrolling around there's no one there's suspiciously no one Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Where's all the fuzz? I can see the I can see I can see the big brothers watching us, but like where's all the people? There should be like coppers and stuff around here, surely. And now that he's pointed it out, y'all realize this too. This is this is suspiciously empty. Maybe they're just all at the concert? That's what? weird, though. Even the staff? Mm. They have really bad staff. I mean, to be fair, if I got a gig, like, working security at this place, I'd probably bunk off and go and watch the shows as well, to be fair. But, like, uh, I'd at least get someone to cover me, you know? This is just sloppy. Especially because, like, who's watching out for us, really, if they're not on duty, right? Hi. This is probably a dumb idea. Is there a rock? Oh yeah, yeah. You can find a bit of pavement, a little bit of coral, whatever you need. Can I throw a rock at the mini security camera? Ooh, yes you can. Yes you can. Uh, give me. Hmm. 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 All right. Do you want to throw it hard, or do you want to make sure you're accurate? I want to make sure I'm accurate. All right, give me a Brooks challenge two here. So you can do your basic three, and you said you chose to be a Brooks character, so you can add that die in as well. It's, wow. Well, um, roll me one more T6 for that six that exploded there. Mm. Wow. Oof. Oh, no. Oof. Okay. Um. <laughs> A oh. lot of things happen all at once. <laughs> a shocking amount of things happen all at once. Fail? So you you pick up this rock and you fling it. It bounces off the column. The column wobbles. Oh. And then it just starts to topple away from you. And when it hits, the whole kind of ground around you just like rumbles. And credit and Amber, y'all can see this happen because like clearly a column just fell. That's not good. But something happens with the dome above y'all. There's this flare of blue light and then a like a finger of lightning just zaps down right onto Lux. And I'm going to need you to keep track of your strikes because you just took three strikes from that. <laughs> and all of you hear this, like, this ghostly voice just go, I allow you in my city. Please don't damage it further, musicians. You just see Lux turn around and then, like, code is into the hair is singed, and he just goes, Oh no, the ghost pushed the pillar. Everyone saw that, right? The ghost pushed it. Right. Uh, right, yeah, I got you back. Yeah, it was like, ghost, you weren't even near it, though. Yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. You, weren't even, you weren't even close, like. Exactly, yeah. Actually, we weren't even here. We were down like, getting snacks down at the uh, buffet. 
Yeah, we were never here. We should just keep. <sighs> we're really sorry. We should move. She just whistles and starts walking away. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all are y'all are just kind of whistling and very nonchalantly strolling across this uh, this suspiciously empty plaza towards the mausoleum that's uh, just kind of on the other side. There's like one ruined building between you and it. Oh, I, I throw a like- rock at it. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't. We heard the ghost. We do we see we haven't seen any other ghosts. There's like nothing around, right? Um you have the talent that lets you see ghosts, right? I do. Or the backstory? Uh-huh. I have seen them all my life growing up. Yes. Me ghosts were on we're on pretty good terms general. Well, I wouldn't say good terms, but we're acquainted. Okay. So the uh, the the fun thing about this background for you is, yeah, you absolutely see ghosts all the time. All the time. All the time. It's and not at all weird. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, you've just kind of grown up with it. You, when you got here, you were kind of surprised at the lack of ghosts in most of this area, and you know, in your first couple of days, you kind of explored around a little bit. You poked around. And you notice some shapes just way off in the distance, kind of like at the edge of the dome. Mm -hmm. Just kind of milling about, not really doing anything. Um, There's no ghost around here, Amber. That's weird. Right? Because, like, in a place like this, with with how old this place is, I mean, it's, like, old. Usually there's, like, a lot around usually there's like more of them than people but it's like empty so that's odd okay huh right that's weird it's 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 pretty weird it if you had to guess you'd probably guess that some of the weird magic of the dome keeps them out mm-hmm. oh sure but yeah there's no ghosts around Huh. So the voice just happened. It sure did. Weird. It followed up with them. It followed up a magic lightning strike. Weird. A still smoking Lux goes, yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, credit. Yo. So you're just kinda you're just kinda wandering around after your after your bandmates here a little bit, right? Yeah, I was gonna have a snout, but then I thought, better not. I've stuck a bit on my ear. I'll wait. It's probably a good call. Uh, you, uh, you kick something. You just kind of wander around. You kick something. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have a look at it. It I mean, is, uh, it is the unconscious body of a security guard that has been like shoved in a corner. Like behind this bench. Oh right, so not something I can exactly play football with then. Um, um No, I don't wanna upset anyone, alright. And I definitely didn't do this. Let's just get that very clear. Not even armed, eh? Okay? There's a geezer on the floor. There's a what? There's a person on the floor. Oh. I act as the credit translator. <laughs> that was my original role that they hired me for, and then I became a band man. Perfect. This is delightful. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put person. my... Oh, shit. I'm going to put my hand on Credit's shoulder and go, I believe you didn't do this, Credit. I didn't. I didn't. I just kicked it. And I mean, like, you know, I am one to put the boot in if I get opportunity, but I ain't got no beef with this geezer. There's no grief. Like, what do we do? Do we put him out or do we just leave? Amber, he says 
He doesn't know this person. They had no quarrel. What should we do with the body? I mean, is he is he dead? He's You're... just unconscious. You want him to be? We should. Like... <laughs> no. Maybe no. Yes, no. I mean, it might be easier for me to talk to him if he was. But I mean, can we try to like? Should we like try to wake him up or something? I don't know. Like, I don't know how this like. I'm not as comfortable with like people who are not dead, really. I can like. Well, you would prefer him to be dead. That's very dark from you, Amber. I didn't expect this, honestly. No, I mean, I just am not as... Com I mean, no, you shouldn't be dead. I'm just not as... I personally am not super comfortable. You guys are, like, really my only friends who are not dead. Like, so it just... I mean, I think... But I feel like the right thing to do is to try and wake him up, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I could, like, slap him a bit, see if he wakes up. It seems something to try. Well, I mean, kicking is... didn't work, so maybe slapping him might. Well, right, this said... has been going. I'm like just poking his face. <laughs> so uh, you, you notice while you're poking that his his arms are bound behind his back with a strip of black silk that's just tied tied his wrists together. Uh, if you want to, like, eventually after you poke him, he starts to go. Ah. Stop it. Oh, he's just sleeping now. I like to kick him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you want? Take a nap. Who killed you? I'm dead? <laughs> and he like <laughs> thrashes around a little bit, just like looking around. <laughs> He's up now. Oh, good. That's that's good that you're. Why are you? Why are you tied up? I, he like pulls his like. I don't know. I was just. I was just on my rounds, and I totally was not standing behind a statue eating a bag of chips. Mm. And then I just really wanted to take a nap so I laid down on the bench and just went to sleep for a little bit well don't worry I'll untie you and we'll get all sorted out and I'd like to untie his binds uh, so I can have the scarf because that's not aesthetic hang on a minute, hang on a minute. if you just fell asleep who tied you up I don't know I didn't know it was tied up can, well, can you all untie me I mean, I'd like a bit more of a clue in because it seems that whatever you've been doing has led this place to ruin and I'm not sure whether we should be letting you go or putting the shoe in. This place is like 3,000 years old, my man. Look, I don't care if it's got history or geography. He just immediately looks to Amber and Lux just assuming y'all know what's going on I just can y'all untie me please I think I've had a long day you have don't worry we'll get we'll get credits credits credit and Amber talks to ghosts and I got struck by lightning it's been a day it's been a weird day, day. oh uh, and the concert just started yeah you're missing the concert Oh man, who's on? Did I miss the rowboats? No, Ned. No, you couldn't catch them if you go fast enough. Oh man, and he just like gets up and starts trying to like jog with his hands tied behind his back. Oh man, I just let that happen. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, uh, bye. That's sleeping now. Like he was sleep. I mean, he's a security guard. You know those guys have been, like, working really hard. I'm sure it's fine. Sure there's nothing weird about this. Maybe the chips were so tasty they knocked him straight out. 
and then tied his hands behind his back. Yeah. I've had yeah, that happen to me before, in fact. You have. Well, yeah. There might have been a bit of Stella involved. <laughs> What did he say, Lux? Uh, he said there may have been beer involved in his tying up. Oh no, I meant Stella, my ex. <laughs> there, were, there may have also been. <laughs> hang on, I need to go and uh, I, I, I pull out this like notebook, like with everything that credit says and down as like translations. <laughs> hang on, Stella, Stella, Stella. Yes, 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 girlfriend, Stella. Uh, 20, 27, 30, yeah. yes. Tied up, remember, what well, night. Okay, we're all good. I don't know what we would do without you, Lux, honestly. Oh. <laughs> You're like the glue that holds this band together. That's okay. Nice. Well, the, okay. But some, okay. It... Where's the bag of chips? Anybody? Oh, uh, there is a bag of chips just kind of behind that, that bench. It's kind of crumpled a little bit. Are there any chips left? There are. <laughs> what kind are they? <laughs> they are. Mm. Oh. They really, really, really want you to think that they're cooler ranch Doritos. They're not. They're like bargain bin knockoff. Oh, and, and it says <laughs> creamy ranch Doritos. International barrier when you were saying oh. chips. I thought you meant like fish and chips. I was looking for like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Crisps. Crisps. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, a bit of cheeky security guard just bust out the old fish and chips, having a bit of scampi on his day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have a cheeky Nando's on his day off with a bit of chips. Seems like a pretty chill security guard, really. Yeah, but currently running away from us with like a black silk tie. <laughs> it won't attract any attention at all, I'm sure. That is fine. I think we're doing very, we're doing really great. Yeah, there are still some chips in there. They're not a good yeah. flavor. I'll eat yeah, one if no, you dare me. Have... Hmm? I'll eat one if you dare me. Uh, credit, as as your friend, your bandmate, your translator, and sometimes babysitter, I cannot allow you to do this. What does he want, Lux? <laughs> he wants to eat the chip. I mean, I'm not going to eat them because, frankly, like I have better taste than that, but... Can I pick up the bag and yell, this bag empty yeet, as I throw it? Yeah. Uh, give me give me a Brooks roll. Let's yeet. see where this bag goes. Let's see how far this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I knock down another pillar. The good news is, you didn't. <laughs> the bad news is... <laughs> Oh, actually, first, uh, roll me another d6. You got a you got a six there. I swear to God, roll twenty. If you give me a one, thank you. You didn't get a one. All right. So the good news is you do not knock over any more pillars. The bad news is you hear this like from in the general direction where you threw the bag of crisps. I'm gonna like slowly turn around and uh, just whistle and walk away. <laughs> and Lux, I really feel like you need to throw things, frankly. It's just not going. I mean, I know you didn't knock down that pillar that was totally a ghost that totally exists in this bubble and not at all like you, but maybe, maybe don't check things anymore. Maybe. I flipped out of baseball for a reason. I have to remember that. <laughs> there's there's a reason we're all in a band right now, and it's not because we're good at sports, friends. Because <laughs> of our unparalleled talent, innit? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that too. That, right? That's what he said something about unparalleled talent. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> thought you said parallel talent and I was like, oh, the youth. <laughs> uh, I walk away and deny all knowledge of the <laughs> with the chips. Okay. So, y'all are mostly across this plaza. Uh, there's a ruined building and just beyond that is the mausoleum. All right. Cool. So y'all, y'all can take the long route and follow one of these paths around, or you can cut through the ruined building. It's totally fine and chill, whatever. I mean, we have, like, we're on a schedule here. As far, I mean, I don't, we can't miss our set, so I vote we go through the ruined building. Yeah, you said you could take the long way, and my brain went lame! <laughs> so, I vote ruined building. <laughs> Yeah, we're in building. I've got it. Let's do it. It's totally cool, cool, fine. Cool. So... <laughs> yeah, we're going to cut through that building. Ooh, sorry. Uh, all right. So y'all cross the plaza. No more disruptions. No more pillars. No more lightning bolts. No more security guards that y'all know about. Um, credit, there are still a couple cameras here and there. They don't seem to be moving. They're kind of fixed. Um, and y'all enter this ruined building. It's a it's a it's a it's a good sized building. It doesn't really have a roof. Looks like something blasted it off at some point in the distant past. And y'all are crossing through. There's some there's some shadowy areas here. I need everyone to roll me flames. Amber, I'm gonna give you a free die on top of whatever else your dies are. Okay, so that would be five. Um, we all roll. Yes, please, everybody roll. Oh no! Oh, oh, that's oh no! This might be a good time to mention to chat. You know, you can de- donate so that we can have advantages and stuff and re rolls. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> those are those are incredibly useful. Yeah. Okay. Um, so far, not a flingle, single flame. Uh, no. There is one. Val got one. I did? You got I mean, a five. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, this is great. <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are walking through a particularly dark part of this building. And Val, you see something out of the corner of your eye. There's like a little... There's like a little concrete slab that... Pretty clearly, this was a bedroom at one time, a long time ago. And just kind of like peeking over the edge of that slab is a translucent face. Just kind of like, you can just see the eyes. And like, they've got like a weird shaped skull, but they're just looking over the top. And they dart back down as soon as they kind of see you look at them. Oh, I would immediately like to go over and see that face. So you, you go around this bed and you see this this really just kind of skinny individual just like skitter back away. They are uh, not a child. They are just kind of youngish, maybe maybe late teens. Um, clearly a ghost. This is also the first ghost I believe Lux has ever met. And they are just like cowering in the corner. They're not a sp- Especially human looking, which is weird. Hi, I'm Lux. Hi, I'm, and then what follows is what sounds like a babbling brook. I'm just going to call you Babble. Okay, are you gonna eat me? Look, Amber, if you dare me. (laughs) She's like, I totally dare you. You find the straw. 
<laughs> it's like, like, they're kidding. But gonna look out the corner of my eye like, maybe a straw. They're kidding. <laughs> We're not gonna eat you, but did you strike me with lightning just out of interest? Oh no, did you piss off the Archmage? The who and the what now? I'm still in Atlantis, right? I look over to Amber for confirmation. Yeah. Yes. Is there a really big tower? And he just kind of points. And Amber, yes, there is. Yay. There's no yes. doors or windows or anything. It's just a big tower. Have I seen it before? <laughs> I oh, everyone's seen it before. There are warnings. Do not approach the tower. Yeah, there's a big old tower. The Archmage lives in the tower and he does he he makes the magic work, but he doesn't like it when people mess with things. He probably hit you with lightning. That explains a lot. Yeah, that does explain a lot. They're saying that you guys are messing with the bands and stuff. Is that true? I'm, I don't know. I like the music. The rest of them think that y'all are going to eat us because you're just primitive humans. I don't, well, I don't know where you've gotten this idea that we're going to eat you from. And I'm just like waving my hand, like not the straw, put the straw down. <laughs> I have no, no, no idea where you've got this idea that we eat people from. We don't eat, we're not going to eat ghosts. No, I, we don't. You know you're a ghost, right? You do know that. Oh, yeah. I mean, most of you do. I just, every once in a while. I mean, it's kind of, I got I got caught inside when the bubble went up, so I just kind of got pushed against the wall for a minute, and then I'm here. Uh, everybody else is outside while well, y'all we have your concert. It's really cool. I like it actually a lot. Nobody oh. else does. Oh, it's, well, you, I know. I think you're cool. I think you're the coolest ghost I've ever met. Oh, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. You're I, pretty okay. <laughs> she's a, you're, you're okay. You're, you're so, pretty okay as far as ghosts. You should come totally see our band when we play. Oh my God, y'all are in a band? Yeah. Yeah, we're a fusion. How do we do that? I heard y'all have a really great sound. Three <laughs> different versions of the same hand sign. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> like, we're working on it. It's a growing progress. Or even better if we like start interlinking. Fingers, yeah. <laughs> like, get really complex with it. Literal fusion. Basket <laughs> <laughs> we mean with fingers. <laughs> I heard y'all have a really great sound. Oh man, thanks. Yeah. That's really kind of you. Have have y'all have y'all have y'all met Exo? They're my favorite. Yes, we have met Exo. But they were uh I mean they ate all the pudding in the green room before we got there, so uh no. It's kind of a dick move. Are they the yogurt oh, ones? Man. No, those were the uh, no. That they're... was the crimson tears. Were the yogurt? Oh, I hate those guys. Yeah, they. Yeah, they're... Oh no, that they play good music. They're just difficult people. They suck. They're just difficult people. I heard they were grimos. Like him. Like total grimos. I don't know what that means. Like I just made it up, right? It's like Greek emos. Oh, that's funny. See, what, what I don't like is Hercules was a jerk. Hercules so I don't like him. Did you know, like, the real Hercules? Um, no, he was a story. Oh, okay. I, all right. That's fair. Just thought, you know, since if you're a ghost, if you've been around for a while, you know. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. Sorry. Some some people are just stories. Darn. Darn. Oh. Uh. Mm. Yeah. 
And some people like fusion will go down as legends. Oh, that's the cool tagline. You should say that sometime. I'm going to look over the other two like. It's going really well. The stuff you write credit. Uh, Yeah, I'm probably working in somewhere. (laughs) Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I got to see y'all write a song. You did. You helped us write a song. We can't give you a writing credit because, you know, copyright. But, well, you know, we'll we'll acknowledge you in the prequels. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hey, Babel. Yeah. Quick question. How would we get into the tower? Because we need doors. Oh, I mean... You can try. The Archmage lets some people in. (gasps) Sometimes. And sometimes they get back out again. Less less often. I like those odds. Do you? I'm a little skeptical, frankly, but you know. Honestly, I never pass math, so I like (laughs) those odds. Babel, like, puts his hand on his chin just looks at you for a minute just goes okay so here's the thing here's okay i like you guys y'all are great and y'all have a good sound and i want y'all to beat the crimson tears so here's the thing the art mage wants to find awesome people and wants to help make them even awesomer i mean i like we're awesome people I know. So here's the trick. There's a thing in the mausoleum called the heart of the sea. Go on. If if you take that to the tower, he'll probably let you in. I don't know what happens after that. Cool, 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 cool. That's that's great. Uh, Where specifically in the mausoleum would this part of the sea be? Right in the middle. It's a... So there's a big tomb, right? Inside there is a big pyramid. At the top of it is the heart of the sea. Uh, Just just checking. If we remove this this heart, the, the bubble doesn't come down or anything like that, right? No, 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 no. Archmage totally does that all on his own. Oh, sweet. Cool, 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 cool. We'll go see. Yeah. Ar- the Archmage did tear down the bubble at one, at one of our locations already. Is that what you're saying? I mean, he gave them warning. Did he, though? I don't know. I was in my room. It was scary. No. That's... In the past, he's given warning anytime he was going to drop the bubble, though. Hmm. What does the heart of the sea look like? Just, it's, you know, so make sure we get the right thing. It's a small pyramid. Last time I lot. saw it, it was just like, you know, th- this, th- this big. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's pyramid shaped and it's at the top of the pyramid tomb. You can't miss it. Okay. Why don't they call it the pyramid of the okay never mind is it like the spiritual heart of the sea going from med- okay I don't know. <laughs> is it like the Yu Gi Oh heart of the card sort of dealio oh i like Yu Gi Oh cards i found a pack in the trash one time <sighs> i like pull out a shiny Yu Gi Oh card from my pocket and like yeah you can have that oh my goodness thank you can you sign it yes I'll sign it to. Oh my gosh, you got real close. I've been practicing in the two minutes we've met each other. Uh, Lux is uh, our translator. They're really good with it. Uh, he's really good with um, voices, with the uh, languages and things. From Lux. Oh. And I get the other two to sign it if they want to. I'll sign it, yeah. I hand it over. It just like drops through his hands and he's just like, oh, thank you. That's great. 
Could we like put that up and display it for you somewhere? Like if you want. So oh yeah, on my bookshelf. Okay. I'm gonna put it. Um, I've got a question though about them, Archmage. Like, is it probable that the Archmage is corruptible? Because if he's turning the bubbles to rubble, then that could mean trouble. Because we want to turn all the domes into homes, and if we're going around roaming, and the bubbles are like less reliable than chrome. Then is he corruptible? What did Mister Toofy say? <laughs> uh, he said, "Is the Archmage corruptible?" Because we're trying to get back for our set on time, and the Archmage is kind of, kind of being a a, a not great guy. Oh man! Well, he he does have a temper. He's really old, and he doesn't like things changing. Oh. Oh, could you think that if three awesome people and the heart of the sea could maybe like sway him to not dropping the bubble on us and death? It literally couldn't hurt your chances. I like those odds. Good. I'm glad. I, ch I look at my watch like, guys, we should probably go and... Uh, Trying. Yeah, how much uh how do we do we have an idea of what band we're on at the moment? Not that we can listen, but time wise. Hmm. I'm Would gonna we... say that all of y'all have cell phones and because of magic, they kind of work, or someone set up a network, who knows? One of those things is true. Uh and y'all can pull out your phone and kind of see who's who's still going on. And uh as it turns out, the jet set chirettes just took the stage. The Battle of the Bands has officially begun. Okay. Well, that's good. Hopefully these, I think they're fairly long sets, right? Sure, apparently. Let's go. Yeah. Well, Crimson Tears sure are. All right. The show has begun, but the first song's not been sung. Still, though, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to run. He said, so let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Lux, I did get that. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, bye. Thanks for the card. Nice to meet you. I hope you. the Mage lets you go. Thank Don't you. Come check out our band tonight. We're gonna we're the last ones on, so. Oh know. my goodness, yes. Yeah. Just tell them you, like, go to the door. Tell them you're with us. We'll make sure you get, like, backstage views and stuff oh i'll probably just float in from the roof oh that works too i suppose yeah so y'all uh y'all scamper off yes yeah babble babble watches y'all go kind of peeking around the door and just goes oh man i totally should have told him to get the other band out of the mausoleum take them with them ah they'll meet him it's cool and he just goes back and just stares at his new Yu-Gi-Oh card yay <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also competition, so let's leave them there. I feel like now is a pretty good time to tell everybody that the tagline for boy bands is make a band, score gigs, fight crime. Because obviously. Clearly. Yeah. Y'all approach the mausoleum and you all notice something immediately. The front door is wide open. And this is one of the buildings that's off limits. Now, look, we can go in there because if they try and do us for going in there when the door's open, we've got them on entrapment. Cool. That's smart. Where did you learn that credit? Learn it growing up, don't you? No, oh, fair. I didn't, I, I didn't have that kind of a childhood, so, you know. They're all new things to me. Cool, yeah. Well, I mean, it's open, which means we can totally go in, like you said. This can only go well, and I'll walk in. The first thing that strikes you is, this place is really brightly lit for a mausoleum. There is a pillar of light coming down from the center in the dead center of the building, and it's hitting a the tip of a pyramid 
that's in the center of the entire building. Around it are these like clearly like not sarcophaguses, but that kind of deal. You know, rectangular boxes have inscriptions on them, clearly tombs. And they're all kind of in a ring around this central pyramid. The second thing that strikes you is the fact that there are four people suspended in bubbles, just kind of floating. And they are the members of Cat and the Couture, the band that's going to go on right before y'all in the Battle of the Bands. Oh, snap. Their lead singer, Cat, is like in her bubble. They seem like they're fine. Okay, yes. I'm of two minds about this right now. One, if we don't free them from the bubble, then we don't have to compete against them. But if we do let them out of the bubble, if we if we keep them in the bubbles, that means they don't perform at all, which means we lose that time to figure out how to stop this art mage guy. You're so smart. I mean, like, I mean, I don't mind. I don't know. It's this. No, is no, let's do that. I pick up a rock to throw and look at Amber and then slowly put it back down. Thank you. I believe in our ability, and though it seems like charity, I think we should set them free. It's very wise credit. I agree. All right. How do you all want to try to free them from their bubbles? Um, do they just like, does it look like bubbles of water? What is it? What? Oh yeah. They're, they're bubbles of water. Um, let's see. All right. Here's, here's two very nerdy things that you can choose between. So, you know, that scene in uh, star Wars episode three, where Anakin and old wrinkly face are at an opera that's taking place in a big water bubble. Imagine like personal versions of that. If that doesn't get you, uh, the Blitzball arenas from Final Fantasy X. Um, the only except part of that game I played. <laughs> miniature. Mm -hmm. Both great. Final Fantasy X. They've each X. got their own. I got to the stadium and then played about 100 hours of Blitzball. I never completed the game. <laughs> wow. I can't stand Blitzball, so I'm very impressed right now. Yeah, I was really bad at it, so I was like, thank God that's over. I, I loved it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, should we just like go and like, I don't know, try and like cut it? I mean, I don't have anything to cut it with, but are they reachable? Like, are they the bubbles? Like, are they with it? Are they floating? Like, are they up and down? With they're floating. They're kind of bobbing in the air a little bit. Um, you could probably reach them all pretty easily if you stood on top of some of these tombs. Okay. I'll go on, hop on one of this uh, copper guy or tombs and then try and jump and like wrap my hands depending on which height I am I'll try and wrap my arms around or try and go pop. <laughs> okay um let's do a <laughs> all right um I'll take another one with... you know it looks like a stairway to airways so that's oh this is great yeah uh all of y'all give me a brooks challenge of two I'm in it am I brooks Ha ha! I totally am. Hey. Well. Not a fail, though. <sighs> All right. So, um, Amber, you go up and you poke it, and the whole like outer edge of the bubble just kind of like bends in with your finger, and then. Boop, <laughs> and it just keeps doing that. And the band member in there is just like. I just. <laughs> uh, credit. 
you go up and you, you just look at yours and you and the entire bubble just like ruptures totally and gonna pull a stanley some... knife out of my pocket oh yeah there you go you just, and the whole bubble ruptures We're gonna come back to that in a second credit uh val you go up and you jump off of the tomb and you wrap your arms around the lead singer of Cat in the Couture and you both come crashing out of her bubble and just managed to pull off a pretty nice landing. Um, so credit, do you want to try to catch the band member who's pouring out of the bubble you popped? Um, how high up are we? Not a debilitating height. It wouldn't feel great, but it wouldn't like permanently hurt them. No, that'd be all right. I need to look after myself. Got a band to win. So you just like sidestep this rush of water and you see them just like thump onto the tomb right next to you. There are two more people in bubbles. You're all right, mate. <laughs> Does somebody wanna, I, can't, I can't pop the bubble. I'm having a hard time. You guys seem to get it. I'll let you guys figure it out. Credit, now that you've figured this out, you can pretty easily pop the other two if you want with your Stanley knife. Uh, Lux, <coughs> you and Cat are um, lying on one of the tombs. Cat's coughing a bit. <laughs> hey. <coughs> what are you doing here, newbie? <coughs> well... My name is Lux, and I just totally saved you from a bubble of death. So, points to us for being the bigger people. All right. And she opens her eyes and just like looks at you and just goes, Oh, hey, you're with that fusion group, right? Yeah, we've got a really great sound. I heard that. Thanks for getting me out of the bubble. Don't worry about it. That It's totally, we were totally glad to help. I'm glad to get you back on your feet in time for your set. Oh, okay. I mean, we would have left you all in there, but okay. I know, that's why we're better than you. Because we've got confidence in our like natural ability. Hey, Credit, did you let the other two out or are they still floating? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I should do. I've actually still got that straw, so like, I think the next one I'm just going to go up and just be like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the band member in there like sees what you're doing and just kind of like kicks up to the top and just like... <sighs> <sighs> and eventually, once the water levels drop, he just kind of like grabs the little flimsy edge and like flops himself out of it. And Cat just kind of eventually stands up and uh, looks around. Ah, well, don't go now. We're going to get our payday. Uh, thanks. And uh, hope to see y'all at the after party, I guess. You will. Oh, hey, play really slow. Like, what? that's what. Like, the crowds are seeming to love the really slow ones tonight. So, you know, I would play your slowest songs that you've got for this one. They're eating them up. I don't know that I believe you. Wait, can I use one of my skills? Probably. Can I use guy slash girl next door? You absolutely can. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a Gales challenge on this, please. Da, 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 da. Uh, it's just going to be a two. Cat seems to dig you. None of that luck, because I can't stand listening to techno. All right, so you're gonna pass. So what do you what do you, what do you say to cat? What do you say, to cat? It's like, listen, listen. I know that we've just met and we don't know each other very well, but I feel like between two bands, there's just like a connection that we can help each other and support each other through these tough times and. I believe that I can help you by saying you should play slowly. There are people in the audience who are celebrating 
their anniversaries and they want to slow dance and they're way more inclined to to support and give so much love to bands who play those slow songs. I mean, look at us, we're just going to play fast and they're not going to dance to that. And, you know, I think, I think it'd be really wonderful if, if Greta and Spetta could have the wedding dance they never got on land down here with you guys. The, the other members of the band uh, are just kind of like sniffing a little bit. And one of them like wipes a tear away from, from their eye. And Kat just looks at you and just goes, I still think you're feeding me a line here, but uh, I like your style. Hey, uh, when the Battle of Bands is done, we, uh, we got a yacht that we sailed here in. Y'all, uh, y'all want to ride home? No, oh, I definitely want to go on the yacht. Cool. Well, we're going to go steal this uh, this weird crystal thingy on top of a pyramid. Y'all can go and uh, after party. Ooh. Oh, I see. The thing is, I sort of need that crystal because it's going to stop the Archmage from like dropping a bubble on us and ruining the battle of the bands for everybody. Yeah, what luck said what so there's this archmage and he already struck me with lightning because the ghost knocked over pillars uh and he's gonna drop a bubble on the battle of the bands and then nobody's gonna win but if we bring him this heart he's gonna like let us into his tower and then credit's gonna rap at him and he's gonna be chill i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry Archmage? Yeah. And and hold on, are you saying you didn't style your hair like this? And she like reaches out and like brushes some of your like zappied up locks. You, you didn't style it like that? Oh no, I totally styled it like that. The the lightning just added to it. Oh, okay. It looks good. All right. Um oh the mm. light light shock of hair, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> Ow. Just Ouch. wow. That, that um <laughs> that, that hurt pen, me. Pen, 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 pen. <laughs> Whew. Um. Took the wind right out of myself. Um <laughs> Why did she... you guys want the crystal though? Oh, because it's worth so much money. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you beat us in the battle of ban- of the bands, you're not going to need it. Oh yeah, but we all have our hobbies. <laughs> Sorry, we're um and the other three like run around behind her and they all just like strike a JoJo's post. We're Kat and the Couture, master criminals. Well, we're mm. fusion. And I try and strike a pose. <laughs> and I like try to do the And uh we are master. We're like really just emotionally in touch with ourselves. I'm, you know, just in like touch connected. with our feelings. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're master connected, yo. <laughs> the drummer just like stiffs and just goes, "That's real beautiful, man." I know. Cat just like glares at him and looks back and just goes, "Okay, look, y'all. Mm, I guess y'all did us a solid. There was some weird trap thing here." Tell you what, tell you what. We got to go warm up anyways. This took way longer with the magic water bubbles than we expected it would. Mm -hmm. How about y'all grab the shiny pyramid thing? You go do whatever this weird LARP magic you got to go do to hype yourself up. And then if y'all win... Y'all can keep it. If you, if we win, y'all give it to us, and uh, we'll just call it square. Y'all can still have the ride on the yacht. Either way. Oh, that's a yeah. That sounds like a really great deal. Behind my back, I'm doing this. That sounds like a really great deal. Yeah, totally. Totally. Uh, thanks, thanks for being so reasonable with us. I really, I'm so glad we could come to this agreement. 
I mean, cool. I love a good bet, so I'm into this. Totally, 100%. <laughs> uh-huh. Cool, cool. Awesome. All right, well, um, we're going to bounce. Not literally. We don't bounce anywhere. We we walk purposefully. Uh, we're going to walk purposefully back over to the show. Uh, we're going to warm up. We're going to obviously change into dry clothes. And uh, we're going to win. So uh, have our have our crystal ready for us, okay? You know, it's not a satisfying win unless you guys put up a really good show. So do yeah. your best. Just play slow. Got it. Yeah. And uh, they're going to um, walk out just trailing water. Still just kind of like coughing a bit. The guitarist does like stop in front of you, or the drummer stops in front of you. He just goes, no, seriously, that was real nice, man. I, w- I wish we were that in touch with ourselves. No. It's beautiful. I mean. Anyways, <laughs> don't cross catch. She's real mean if you cross her. Bye. And he runs off. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> no, we're totally keeping that crystal eat the way. Totally gonna turn traitor and then they'll be haters. I didn't realize that my translator was a mischief creator. They reckon they're gonna get a payday, but they're gonna be crying out Mayday when they realize it's our heyday. Listen. I start plucking out a little bit of a tune on my loot to that. Just to like, that's a good one. <laughs> We should put that in the set. Yeah. I can't. So y'all are both playing your instruments right now? Yeah. While he's while he's talking while he's rapping? Uh all y'all roll me uh whatever your suit is. Whatever your character's suit is. All y'all roll that for me. Strikes don't matter for this one. Okay. Holy And I'm Brooks as well. Good job. Val, which one are you? You're Brooks as uh, well? Brooks as well. Oh, Boom. Beautiful. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, Not but a- this is fine because your 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 bandmates killed this. I feel like you probably got it started and you were like figuring out the flow, making sure nothing splashed on your loot and got it ruined. Still tuning in a little bit. It's fine, Amber. Uh, you are the first to notice what happens though when the other two start joining in with you. Which is why I'm going to say you didn't, you're you're you didn't succeed, but you're, you get to notice things. Things start to light up in this room as y'all are all playing together, and what you see is this like this green lightning is kind of dancing along the tombs, and you see it like hit these like inscribed circles on the ground, flare up, and then move on to the next one and what y'all are pretty able y'all are able to put together pretty quick because you notice there's a like four of them near the door that didn't do anything your rock awesome sound is diffusing the traps in this room a fusion is diffusing so uh good Are job the best band ever yeah y'all's Y'all's frankly incredible success has just cleared the way right to the central pyramid. Good job. Good job, team. You beat my mausoleum <laughs> trap. <laughs> Fantastic. Like, it's, it's, it's just purely classic. It turns out the Archmage is turning out brassic because all of our musical magic is turning his traps all tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Dig it. Uh, so yeah, y'all have a straight shot. Y'all could just run right up to that pyramid. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, credit. Do you want to do the honor since it was your inspired rhymes? Are you daring me? I'm totally daring you. Yeah, right. I double dare you. All right, I'm not going any further unless I get double dog dared. Double dog dare. All right. Triple go. dog dare. <gasps> I touch it. <laughs> it, it. You just pick it right up. It's nothing really happens. Like it tingles a little bit. Some like blue light comes off of it. Surprisingly it's blue. blue. <laughs> How do you have a prop for everything? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can just pick it right up. Seems fine. 
whatever whatever rock and magic y'all threw out there just worked worked wonders on this place I just I thought that bottle was empty it wasn't (laughs) (laughs) my legs are a little damp (laughs) alright well we got it groovy y'all now we're yeah, going y'all back. know the way to the tower. It's just right mm-hmm. over there. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, y'all gonna head that way? Yeah, we have to go talk to him to like get him to knock off whatever it is that he's doing with the bubbles and shit. So as right. y'all are walking, uh, any of y'all can can pull out your phones and check on the status of the show. Uh, hold on, I have a chart for this. Give me one second. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Where is it? Where to go? Where are you? There it is. Uh, so you, y'all, y'all, are, you pull up the your phone and you're you're looking at things. Uh, Crimson Tears just exited the stage. The second band finished their set while y'all were dealing with Cat and the Couture, oh, and no. XO, the the uh, K-pop group, is flooding onto the stage right now. All all twelve of their members. I'm and checking the, the is, comments on the phone too, by the way, of like the people who are watching this online. Oh yeah, it's blowing up. People love EXO. They love it. Mm. All right, there's like 25 of them or something stupid. It'll take them ages to all to get through their lines. And uh, that's that is the third set going right now. Third so of six. EXO and Cat and the Couture. I'm glad that we saved them because at least they can. Because it'll just buy us that more, much more time. All right, uh, y'all, y'all eventually managed to make it to the tower. Um, XO is in the middle of their set, and uh, yeah, it's exactly like uh, like you know it is Amber. It no doors, no windows. It's just a just a tower. It seems to go all the way up. Hey, uh, um. Okay, I like. Hmm. Well, there's no way to get in. I'm just gonna yell. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we got. Can we talk? Didn't I warn you, musicians, before? Look, we heard you re- liked awesome people, and we're awesome, so we wanted to come say hi. Very well. Hi, hello. How are you doing? Please return to your concert and stay away from my tower. Are you going to ruin the concert? That all depends, doesn't it? Do you have a reason for me not to? But you should just let us in to have a chat, really. Why should I let you in? We have a heart that is of the sea. Interesting. You don't look nearly as fashionable as the other group that was going for it. How did you succeed wow. where they failed? Okay. Wow. First of all, rude. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rock Mage, I'm sorry to say that I'm up on your stage. If you were a color, you'd probably be beige. You're well past your age. We want the concert to have air. And I don't think you're treating us fair. Your argument's bare, so stop being a bitch and let down your hair. Whoops. Uh, some more green lightning kind of arcs off of kind of your group as a whole, and the art mage just goes, hmm, that is a compelling argument, if oddly put. And part of the wall just like Diagon alleys inward, and there's a archway with some stairs leading up. He says, "Do come in." There's a basket just inside the door. You may toss the crystal in there if you wish. 
I'll return it eventually. For some reason, I really thought he was going to say, there is a basket of condiments, fruits, and snacks to take on your way up. <laughs> totally would have taken him up on it, too. <laughs> Is there anything else in the basket, or is it just an empty basket? (laughs) Oh, it is. There are uh, about five or six of those crystals in there. Fascinating. Covered in a thick layer of dust, but there are several of them in there. I'm taking this basket when we go. Funny though, I thought these things were rare. We best beware as we make our way up the stair. Or enter in the Archmage's lair. This one knows much about what is unseen. Interesting. You what, mate? I'm just making rhymes down here. Ah, he doesn't know it. Okay. Well, come along. But isn't even that more powerful? We'll see. I go upstairs. Uh, I'm (laughs) following. As soon as all three of you are on the stairs, they escalator y'all right to the top. Yay! Wee! Wee! That's a neat and, trick. Thank you. I worked on it after seeing a mall. <laughs> You've seen a mall? Do I'm they have st- one of those down here? I'm not stuck in this city. I can go where I like. Oh. Are you just there for the concert then? <gasps> yeah. Well, I live here. This is my home. This one tower? Oh. Oh, I think you'll find it's quite spacious. And you reach the top of the escalator, and what you see is a little strange. The tower was maybe just a couple meters across. Like, it was a thin tower that went very tall up. The room you were looking at is maybe miles across and there's like a garden around you there's daylight and birds and butterflies and you can see a deer over sitting next to a tree and in the middle of it all is is very intricately designed house and sitting on a rocking chair in front of it is a well, imagine if Babel was much older and not dead. So clearly not a human skull, like an elongated skull, real narrow face, big eyes, kind of bluish skin. And it is rocking back and forth. Does he, does he look at all like Babel was? Or like... Uh, Similar fashion, you can tell they're the same species. Whatever species built Atlantis, he's one of them. If we go in his garden, is he going to yell at us to get off the lawn? Only one way to find out, little musician. I walk on the lawn. You hear this screeching noise. (laughs) And the deer under the tree like stands up and opens its mouth and just goes <laughs> And then it all stops and the the person sitting in the rocking chair is just bent over just like <sighs> He's just dying in the rocking chair. So you're the art Arc mage. That is the title many have given me. Yes. Huh. Is no? Is he a ghost? Is he dead? He's not. He is flesh and blood. Weird. What's your name? Like, actually, though. He opens his mouth, and you hear the sound of waves crashing against a rocky beach. Right. Sure. Should have seen that coming. Just Fun you. DM treat. <laughs> I'll just call you Rocky. 
Ah. Mm. That's a good choice. Yeah. Because you rock, Rocky, right? Mm, thank you. I, I do occasionally enjoy a stone's throwing contest. All right, Scottish. I'm sorry. Got it. Oh. I do like their haggis. It's a, it's a treat on a winter day. What brings you here with that trinket you recovered from the mausoleum? We were sent by a mint. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Flex, can you translate that? Uh, we were sent by a Apollo, a god of all rock and music, who may have also been Freddie Mercury, we're unclear on the details. Uh, he has sent us over here to stop you from, you know, casually striking people with lightning and blowing up a bubble. Oh, that meddler. He you never know. was. Of course. I'm aware of, of all of the gods that existed in my time on this world. There were several of them. He is the most frustrating. He pauses, rocks a little bit. He's the youngest, you see. Doesn't respect age. Yeah. So, you don't want me to blow it all up? Nah, like, it would be really great if we could just, like, have our battle of the bands and rock out. Did anyone ever tell you that it's very rude to just come into someone's house and throw a rock concert every year for five years? No, because that's oddly specific. Well, that was an oddly specific thing you humans chose to do to my home. I you thought like I'd open Atlantis up to humanity now that you were an older, more wiser group. I thought you could learn something, but instead, no. Rock concert. The wonders of all civilization and time are here in our libraries, but rock concert, why not? You don't like dig music or anything? Hmm. I'm just uh, saying most people would be like really thrilled to have the best of the best come play specifically in their house. Front row seats, you've got like a box seat and everything. Your first group was made of gigantic machines that rattled the earth. And yeah, how but... inventive was that? He like pauses, like raises his fingers, like, I'll give you that. That's a good point. Even if you don't like it, can you imagine selling tickets? You could let people watch from here and they'd pay you millions. Blowing up onto it, look. He just looks at us. That is a shocking amount of people watching on those little slates. Are you suggesting that I haven't taken proper advantage of this situation? I'm saying you haven't taken any advantage of it. You're talking about respect for like age, but you're not respecting the people younger than you. So really, you've got no argument to stand on. He he just huffs. <sighs> I'll tell you what, why don't you three convince me the way you convinced my magic to not work in the mausoleum. Play me a song, Fusion, if your sound is so great. Uh, easy. Oh, I don't know if we have the time before. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. We'll play you our, like, greatest song ever all right uh everybody roll me your suit again why <laughs> i'm ready oh are we supposed to capitalize it as well what what when you say roll d6 do you put a capital on it uh, no. just an exclamation mark at the end i do 
Ah, okay. I meant exclamation mark, and my brain was like, capital. <laughs> uh. Out of curiosity, and I mean, I, I'm pretty happy with my role, but um, one of my abilities is natural talent. Yes. I don't know what that is. Oh, fantastic. Okay. That's better. I don't know yes. how that affects that, but yeah. Um, okay. Should roll well, another deep fiction there. Um, uh, no, you, Amber, no, you did the exclamation point, so it auto rolled your oh, I see. explosion. Yeah, that's what the yeah. exclamation point does. Ah, sorry, I, I wasn't clear on that earlier. I apologize. Um, that's okay, great. I don't understand this anyway. But, so, I mean. um, uh, we don't need to worry about natural talent now. Um, uh, when we get down to the actual battle of the band's role, we'll remember that. Um, excellent, because right now, what this does is y'all all got some sort of success, it looks like. At least one of them. Um, so, I want y'all to narrate. Tell me what sort of song you're playing. And how how this crusty old wizard reacts to it? Because y'all are gonna y'all are gonna impress him. Oh. Sorry, say that one more time. I got distracted. <laughs> oh, y'all are going to impress this crusty old wizard. Um, I'd like to know what song y'all are going to say or play to impress him. Tell me about this song. Uh, well, I think this one's called Ghosts of My Heart. And it starts out a little softly with the lute before the violin kicks in. And then it's credits vocals. Ooh. Well, obviously Lux is busting out riddles on the fiddle over there. Like, it's, you know, coming down. I can see that you're out here striving. You're just trying to survive in. But we're out here driving progress whilst, you know, this place is a mess. And at first I was impressed, but it's time to address the fact that times have moved on and this is our time. And then I just let it all go to like instrumentals. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. He's he's actually like bobbing along with it. And when y'all when that last note finally like fades off, he just goes, mm, all right. I haven't felt like that in years. Well done, I suppose. Tell you what. If you go back down those stairs, you'll You'll find the doorway connects to your green room, and I'm sure that meddlesome god Apollo will be in there. Tell him I'd like to discuss financial opportunities for my home. And I won't bring this crashing down around his stupidly blonde head. Can we, can just we, like, can we paraphrase that? It's okay. I put must. it in the book. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, I suppose. Enjoy your festival. You might want to hurry. Someone called Cat and the Couture is about to take the stage. Okay, yeah, thanks. Bye. That's like really outstanding of you, Dave, by the way. That's like so cool. You're not like a poser or anything. He just grumps at you. And y'all definitely don't see him pull out his own cell phone and start watching the show. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, if you want, we can totally arrive in style. I've yeah. got a contact, like that can have us rock up in a limo. They're called G. I don't know why, but they're always on the other end of the phone. <laughs> We're not gonna... Listen, I think at this point, Credit has learned you don't ask G how he gets his limo places. <laughs> he she, always does. She, it's Credit's little sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Real Perfect. And don't G ask. will receive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't ask how she gets the limo places, but she sure does. Can G just like drive us on stage, like, and that's our entrance? Is that yeah. what we're talking? Yes, of course. Exactly what I was thinking. That's so rad. But first, so y'all walk down the stairs, out the front door, 
and right into your green room and lounging in one of the chairs, just like devouring the snacks that y'all had requested is Apollo. Oh, hi. So y'all took the express route home, huh? I mean, Rocky was a pretty cool dude. I mean, person. Sorry. He understood our sound. Mm-hmm. Y'all do have a fantastic sound. Music just like gets to everyone's heart, right? Exactly. Yeah. So is he going to kill all of us? Not yet. No. All oh, right. hang on. Um, uh, 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 scare me. uh, he said, come talk to me about finalizing the finances and the financial opportunities for this kingdom, uh, and I will not bring this bubble crashing around his stupidly blonde head. If you Apollo stop being looks... obscene, he'll stop being mean, and then you can all talk about green. Word, credit. Word. It's a bit rude about my hair. My hair is perfect. Clearly. I think they like you and are having trouble expressing it. Well, who doesn't like me, really? Thank you all for your work. Uh, I think y'all are going on stage here pretty soon. Uh, Thank you very much. Gunas, for the donation. You have an automatic success to give to a player of your choice. Woohoo! Just before the battle! Oh, that's perfect timing right there. I know. So, uh, Apollo is going to go back up the stairs. Y'all just walked down because, hey, the door didn't shut, so that connection's still open. He closes the door behind him, and there's a knock at the door. Yes. And standing on the other side of the door in an impeccable chauffeur's outfit is Credit's little sister, G. Yeah. She just What's tips her cap me? to y'all and just says, y'all ready to make an entrance? I love you so much. Aw, Jay. <laughs> Charlie? <laughs> okay. Lux does this. <laughs> Let's go. You're very lucky your friends are so cool. Thank you. I think your limo is cool. Like, I don't know how you do it every time, but you kill it every time, G. Listen, <sighs> credit. Got the vocal talents. I got the rest. Limo's outside in the hall. All right. Whew. I'm getting butterflies. Well, I hope y'all brought your A-game. Cat and the Couture were hot tonight. Eh. I'm my vocals now. We'll be all right. <laughs> <sighs> so, are y'all going to do a costume change and then pile in the limo? Yay. Oh, a costume change. <laughs> <laughs> Credit's costume is like a slightly different variation of his clothes. <laughs> he's I got mean, a he's got a look, right? Like just the pocket instead of being here is now here. Yeah. I go All from right. like the black corset lace up corset and the red fishnets and the black like goth boots to like the red corset and the purple fishnets and like the little black tutu situation and like the big like iridescent goth boots. Dig it. Dig it. Lux, what's your new costume? I put on a hat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seems good. Uh, I, uh, Lux was inspired by the black silk we saw earlier and is now incorporating like black silks into his outfit. And it's like a flowy kind of gothic rainbow fusion. That's delightful. You think I found your hat, Lux? It's just lying around the back of the stage. <gasps> yeah. Lux 100% puts that hat on. 
Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, all credit. Arms reach is what I don't understand. So we're going to cut to the camera view of the stage. Cat and the Couture have just finished their set. The crowd is going absolutely wild. William West, the coolest person on earth for 12 years running, takes the stage again, just goes, all right, folks. It has been an amazing night so far. The crowd erupts again. We got one more act for you. And if I can be a bit picky about this i think we saved the best for last their sound is amazing and in their first appearance at the bandstand battle of the bands ladies and gentlemen and he just seems to know how y'all are going to do this because cool people get it they get each other he just gestures to the side where the limo starts pulling out fusion i want y'all to roll I'm going to give y'all advantage. If y'all have, if whoever got that auto success, if they want to use it, now would be the time. We can certainly roll it randomly. Like, uh, no one's called, they, they haven't called it. So let's, let's roll it out randomly. All right. Uh, don't include me in this. I don't need it. Okay. We'll go in the order we introduced. Jordan. Oh, you have, great. You have, you have an automatic success. There it is. All right, so Jordan's going to get y'all some successes. Uh, Lux and Credit, roll your suit. You all have advantage. Um, Lux, you have that uh, natural talent, right? Uh, yes, I do, and I have puppy dog eyes. Which okay, I was... and Credit, you also had natural talent? I think it was actually me and Jordan that had that, right? Oh, no, yeah. What was it? Oh, wow. I don't, know. I don't know. I can't tell you what your character's got. I know I've got it. I got it. Well, I'm going to let you change that strike into a success with that. Uh, Lux, same thing with your puppy dog eyes. Mainly because I just really want y'all to do great with this. So, yeah. oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all as many advantages as I can on this thing. Um, all right, so y'all rolled. I do believe y'all have achieved success in this matter, at least enough to really wow the judges. Just really wow the judges. I want y'all to tell me loosely what this set is. Like, describe the lighting, whatever y'all want to do. Tell me how y'all win the Battle of the Bands. <gasps> okay, well, the first thing is, when we step out of the limo, doves fly out from behind us. <laughs> and Hayes rolls across the stage. Like, yep. as, a thrall, as, as the limo drives on, we're getting all of that, like, nice floor gothy haze going on. And then the lights start up. And it's like, like a mix of fusions of like greens and blues and purples, and they all crisscross to make our logo across the back of the screen, and then F with a big U, and then fusion at the back of it, and there's smoke everywhere, and there's rain machines as we play, so it looks like we're dancing in the rain, like that Tom Holland thing of a dupe that he did that was great. We can't that. talk about that. It makes me cry every time. I, I love it. Uh, and so we've got a rain machine. It's going great. And then at the loot, be, this is Fur's big moment. So generally, I don't. Fur as the possessed. Fur tends to, as my loot tends to, like start to glow and do all sorts of shifty things. Because Fur yeah. is invested in this as well. Dig it. Yeah. And it's Credit. got sort of like emo y, meatloaf y kind of sound, like beginning of, and it, but then we start fusing it in with credits raps. This is close to meatloaf. I mean, <laughs> I think like that at, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can direct your angry emails to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Credit, he just sort of like is just bouncing around on stage, really. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He's not even really sure, not even facing the right way half the time, but he's, he's doing all right, you know? Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, a... describe the big finale. What is this moment? It's 
so I think we've got to build into something, haven't we? And like, uh, he's gonna do one of them like slow rap things where you do the last word real loud, you know? So like, you see us we're rolling up in a limo. We're driving open hand. It's time for us to stand. No, we're here. It's time for us to make our stand. We're here. We're the best in the land. We're gonna win battle of the bands. And as it happens, that's when the big giant light wall behind us comes down and blares us so we're all in silhouette. Um, and, and Lux will uh, like just throw his small violin into the audience and then spin around and pull out an even smaller violin from his coat and start playing it. I just go like this with the lute so that it starts floating kind of up in the air because I'm not really playing the lute anyway. It's mostly fur. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're here to sort of slaughter our opponents. Uh, it feels real bad, but look, we're playing the world's smallest fiddle for them. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. The The lights flare, the audience is losing their minds. Uh, Y'all can just kind of see like standing up in one of the boxes is Apollo and he's just like kind of glowing a little bit and he just like finger guns you guys. Next to him is the is Rocky just kind of grumpily just like bobbing his head along. And in the front row, you see Babel hey! just like <laughs> And Fusion, congratulations. You won your very first Battle of the Bands. Thank you guys for playing with us on this game of Tapestry. I <laughs> hope y'all had so much for this one in Tapestry. This is Weave. Ooh, it's ooh, amazing. I'm tired. Chat, respect for Matt. Matt uh, stepped in at the last second. Unfortunately, Rene couldn't make it because of a work emergency. Um, and Matt stepped in. We were, we were a little late. That was mostly down to me though, to be honest, just getting set up. Uh, Matt, thank you so much for running this. This was awesome. This was awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is so great. Yeah. This was, was a so ton wonderful. of fun. Well, so what we're going to do here at the end is we're going to go around. We're going to talk to everyone, see where we can find you and all the wonderful things that you do. Uh, and then we're going to go on a raid. So everyone stick around for the raid. No leaving. That's not allowed. Um, we'll start, uh, with Val Balaz. Hello, everybody. I'm Val. Uh, very great at outros and intros as I said before. I'm the Nerdy Niffler on, uh, the Twitters. Uh, I play on variant roles a lot, so I'm on there tomorrow with our Void Space Cosmic Horror Show, Project VHS. Uh, on Fridays, I do Courts of Shadowfay on there, which is like Goblin Lore and Order we had last session, which was great. And then on Mondays, we play Grim Femmes, which is a a tabletop RPG experience exploring uh, trauma and healing through the medium of tabletop RPGs. And it's really great. And it's good. I'm trying to think of other things that I do. No other things. I don't exist. I just fade into the mist. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me and for introducing me to this game. I had so much fun with this. This was such a great, fun time. So thank you so much. Good. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, well, next round we have Jordan. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Jordan, a.k.a. The Lady Dame. That's where you can find me on most of my social media, the Twitter, Twitch, Discord, The Lady Dame. Um, I stream on my own channel on Fridays and Wednesdays, mon or sorry, mon Mondays and Fridays. I used to do Wednesdays, I can't right now, but uh, Mondays I play video games, Fridays I read fan fiction out loud, so if you're interested in that, that's what I do. Um, and uh, you can also find me, I'm not really in any long-term campaigns, but I will be starting up with the Gold Heart group uh, in their Descent into Avernus game that's coming up date to be determined we're still working stuff out but uh that should be fun otherwise i live on the open for adventure channel in the chat as a mod just hanging out um and you can just find me on twitter pretty much yeah. yelling about everything but yeah Fantastic. that's me leonie is amazing we I love the chances to play with leonie when we get them um yeah next around oh last year round our last minute storyteller who did an amazing job matt <laughs> Thank y'all. I am so glad y'all enjoyed this. This was a ton of fun. Um, 
again, we played in the Weave system. This was a playset that I wrote called Boy Bands. Um, it'll hopefully be available at some point, and I'm sure I'll be screaming about that whenever it happens. Um, Y'all can find me on Twitter at Matt Hoadley. Uh, I do some podcasts, but most importantly to me right now is that in about 30 minutes, um, my channel, Jam Game Streams, is going live with Jordan Sanders running a D&D game. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I just get to be a player. I get to relax and just be a crazy no more lock and let Jordan sit in this chair. So, um, Again, thank y'all so much. This was a ton of fun. Y'all were a great and um, first group to ever run boy bands. So thank y'all. That just leaves me, I guess. Well, everyone, please check out my social links as I desperately look for my cursor. Uh, you've got Discord, Twitter, and YouTube there. Check them all out. Discord can be a part of the community. It's incredibly active. Uh, Twitter, we make what, six to eight tweets a day, all TTRPG related. Um, pinned tweet at the moment is about our Extra Life for Kids charity stream coming up on the 9th of November at 1 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be doing a 24-hour uh, stream. Uh, I'm not going to reveal any names yet until we get the group chats down and get things uh, solidified, but we've got a lot of people you might just recognize in the stream. That's what I'm saying. Uh, eight games, three hours each, 33 people, 5k goal, affiliated with Wizards D&D, contributing towards their goal of $300,000 for the kids in the CMN hospitals. Um, you can find that in my pinned tweet. Um... Also, check out my sponsors, the Deck of Many. Uh, you've heard of the Deck of Many things, of course you have. Um, have you checked out the Deck of Many animated reference cards? Uh, they've got tons of them, and they're amazing. Also, in November, they'll be releasing uh, their Humblewood book, uh, which is uh, Cute Animals in 5e. It's third-party content for 5e. My personal favorite bit is the uh, Cleric domain, the Community da Domain. Uh, the community domain focuses on the ties that bind all people together. These ties are of family and friendship, the ties to ancestors, as well as the ties between elders and the next generation with whom they share their wisdom. It's great. It's really good. Um, check it out. It's, you can pre-order it on their website right now. Also, check out Mage Hand Press. Uh, Mage Hand Press uh, created Dark Matter. Uh, they also created Weird West and High Seas, which are different expansions for 5e. Dark Matter happens to be a space campaign. You can find it tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST uh, when uh, Alice will be running the Brain Melting Argo 37 campaign. Um, I think that's everything. I think I've shouted out everything. So we're going to go on a raid. Uh, we are going to go and raid Madam Gandalf, who has the most amazing um, raid cry response. So buckle in for that. Everyone turn sound on. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, we need a raid cry though. We do need a raid cry. Do, does anyone remember anything that we said that was particularly interesting? Hmm. Funny when you put yourself on the spot like that, isn't it? Oh yeah. Did I say anything interesting this whole game? Oh I, no. <laughs> I mean, Matt, you're not alone there. I think every person who sits in that seat, the DM seat, then immediately goes away and goes, hey, did anyone actually like that? We did. We promise. Okay, it was amazing. Um, That's it. We'll just go with our... I'm not armed today. That's good. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. That'll work. Yep. Uh, let's stick that in some emotes and... There we go. Cue it up on your uh, cue it up on your copy paste, and let's uh, go and do that. Until next time, everyone, keep on evoking emotions, and uh, we'll be back in around an hour with horror scoops. Um, so tune in. It's the penultimate episode. Uh, quote from Hans: He's going to uh, drive the episode like he stole it. In a bit.